is Mike Callahan, Dr. Fallfinder, and welcome back to our special Butterscotch.com 10-part series on understanding your router. Now in this segment, we're going to look briefly at security options. You have a number of options available on your network. Some of the options you have available will depend on your equipment and the age of your equipment. Wireless security has steadily improved over the years from the initial WEP, which is now considered inadequate. A group of FBI people got together and with commonly available software tools, they cracked a WEP network in less than three minutes. So we don't recommend WEP. So while there are many different types of security available, many options, our purpose here is to give you the ones that we feel are the best and that best serve your interests. So back in the router settings, under security, there are options for blocking anonymous internet requests, filtering multicast content which comes from your internet service provider, and other things. I feel I should also point out that in nearly every router software, there's detailed help. So if you don't understand what a thing is talking about, if you don't understand what multicast is, you can go in here and look. If you want to know what filter ident port 113 is, you can go in here and look and find it quite easily. Back in the router settings again under wireless and wireless security, you can see here that we have security mode WEP. Now if you look down, there's WPA Personal, WPA Enterprise, WPA2 Personal, WPA2 Enterprise, Radius, you can generate, you can put in a phrase. And here again, there's plenty of help telling you about all of the different kinds. Our personal belief is that currently for home networks, WPA2 is the best security for your router. So we'll discuss that in the next segment. Bear in mind that this is one segment of a 10-part series. Be sure to check for the other episodes.